Hello, this is Jeff with uh, with JNA Junction. Um, I got my end scale uh, layout set up here to uh, want to show you running the train on it. Um, last night um, I cleaned all the old glue off and stuff on this uh, where I tried to use Elmer's glue to glue the old track down. Cleaned that all off and I had some holes in it where. Um, um, where the super glue ate up, where so um, so I took some uh, drywall putty and and putty them up real good, and it's just a, it's a quick drying putty. So I went ahead and uh, last night and went ahead and painted the road bed, just a track road bed all the way around, and um, so that way it a bit the track would be on there smoother, and also I did drill a hole in here to, to run my wire down through to my transformer so uh, I have a, a, a Cotto uh, CSX uh, AC 4400 uh, like say it uh, and I got three uh, CSX cars and uh, and a four CSX car aluminum hopper um, these three CSX cars are Atlas and the one here is made by LBF Company. And uh, like I say, I didn't got much cars with this yet, so I'm going to try to get a few more cars and get some more engines. Um, like I said, I do have my crossing in here. I don't. I have the things on it now. I did the last time I did the video. I didn't put that on there. So, um, but like I say, this track looks really good. I'm not going to have to really, I don't think I'm going to have to glue it down, really. Um, I'll just have to take it off or whatever all time. So, Also, I put a, a frog here in the pond. i got to put some signals on, my signals on it yet, but I don't know how I'm going to go about doing that just yet. So, But, okay, here we go. I'm going to start running the train here, so... I don't have to run real fast or anything on this. This does got some inclines on it, and it's up there and just runs smooth as can be. Going to put a tunnel and stuff on this thing, but I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I don't think there's enough room. Maybe when I extend it out someday, and then there's a. If I could put a bridge of some kind under the where the train goes under itself, but uh, under the track there, but I don't know if I might try to put something on that eventually. <laughs> but I want to get a CSX uh, uh, Dark Future and the SD70 ACE in the end scale. Uh, there's one on eBay for 81 bucks, brand new. I've been wanting to get, uh, I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, you know, I know that the Cotto engines are really great engines because that this is what I got here now running and it runs really smooth and and everything so I ain't had a bit a minute's problem with it And this engine is DCC ready um, All I got to do is just put a uh, put, plug a decoder into it and uh, and it would uh, you could run it on DCC but right now it's just running through, uh, just directly on DC. So I don't have the DCC stuff uh, equipment anyway. So uh, so I just that may be something near later down in the near future I might get, but but not right now. So like say a little coal mine and stuff there, and I probably might put some coal or something, glue some coal on this here sometime. So that way, you know, I don't know if I could put a belt line in this mine or not, because it's kind of small compared to on my O scale. <laughs> so, but this is a lot, uh, it's a lot bigger than what I had. Um, the, um, the, I just had a circle of track of end scale, you know, and like I say, it just went around the circle, so. At least this is a little bit bigger, so I think I measured this. I think it's what uh, I think 30, 
four inches long and by I think 28 29 inches wide say so, like say but it's got some extensions down here where I could possibly probably put a extension there someplace and run a you know have a siding in there so Like I say this track track works perfectly on this thing. It runs so smooth and and the track even lays better too since I got that old glue and stuff off of this thing. Stop it here. Let's run it in reverse here. <laughs> Slows down a little bit there on that incline, but as long as it don't spin. See, it just runs real smooth. Like I say, the lights are you know, reversing this too. You know, you can see the back light on it. Then when the front, that's doing that. And then when the front, you know, don't have the lights on, so. Let's stop it here. Let's go back forward again. Now you can see there where the lights are on the front. Another thing too on this engine, it don't have the number boards in the back. It's, it's a wonder it don't, but I don't think the new CSX engines have them, I don't think, on the back anymore. They still do on the front, but not on the back. Like I say, and you can see here too, um, this thing Jenny running just between 20 and 30. That's all the faster it's running. And like I say, it's pulling, you know, four cars. And that's and that's doing really well. Okay, I'm going to stop it here, so. Okay, uh, this is Jeff with the, with Gen A Junction. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks.